Did you know if you haven't done these things, your notice of possession might be invalid? Hi, I'm Georgina, Property Manager here at Joe House. After a tricky year with the onset of coronavirus and impacts that this has had on the whole country and the economy, the property market is finally starting to reopen and along with that comes amendments to some of the new regulations and guidance that were implemented as a result of coronavirus and in an aim to protect tenants during the health emergency. Previously, with a Section 21 notice, you must have provided at least two months notice of possession, which in England was extended to six months notice for all Section 21s that were served after 29th of August 2020 as a result of coronavirus. After a year of uncertainty, things are finally starting to look up with the easing of lockdowns and the roadmap is being set out for returning things to pre-pandemic life. Earlier this month, the announcement was made that notice periods would be set out four months from the 1st of June 2021. This offers tenants continued protection through the coming months whilst also allowing landlords to access justice when necessary. This amendment legislation is set to be in place until the 1st of October 2021. Notices for Section 8 will also be reduced to four months for most circumstances, however can be less than this depending on the grounds that you're using. You must take careful consideration for this as it is always best to ask your agent for advice for the best action. Regardless of the pandemic, you must know that a notice of possession will only hold up if a landlord has abided by all of their duties through the tenancy. Failure to do so could result in a notice of possession being dismissed if taken further beyond the notice period. As spoken about in a previous video of mine, it is so important to protect your tenant's deposit with an accredited deposit protection scheme. If you serve a Section 21 notice without protecting this, you must return the deposit in full before you are able to serve the section. A Section 21 will also be invalid if you've not provided the tenant with an up-to-date EPC certificate for the property and an up-to-date gas safety certificate. The landlord must also provide you with a house rent guide before you move into the property as part of the prescribed information and if this is not provided, any section served may be invalid. The importance of having a property management service for your property is that it's our job to keep on top of safety certificates and the property certificates which would always be provided to your tenants. This is something that can be so easily forgotten but can prevent you from reclaiming possession of your property if you don't. It's our job to stay up to date with all of the laws and rules which as a landlord you might not know about. For instance, a new scheme has been introduced meaning that all Section 8 notices must include details of the breathing space scheme in order to be a valid notice. If a landlord wasn't aware of this, they may unknowingly have served an invalid section. Our landlords trust in Joe House that we have the knowledge to effectively manage their property and always take the best approach to protect them. So if you want to hear more about how the changing legislations may affect you or how you think that we can assist you in any way, please feel free to give me a call on 0116 296 6888.